Hello dear students, welcome to Social Science SPSS Online Learning. Today I am presenting very important 4 mark questions. You will score 16 marks if you study these questions. Uh, most likely questions these are. Some of these questions were repeatedly asked in the previous annual examination. So, ishtunna you prepare adre. Kandita nimu hadhanar marksu sigatte. So, you will have to study this. They are all must study questions. I am giving you answers as well. Kelvandashtu prashnagalagi uttranu kottigini. Rest of them you can study your uh, classwork or study material. I wish you all the best. Welcome to SPSS Online Learning. 16 marks area that is 4 into 4. 4 mark questions. 4 mark most important questions and answers in social science. So the first question is before you. Write the impact of land tax introduced by the British. This can be either 3 mark question or even 4 mark question as well. You will prepare agiri. So, important question. So, let us see the answer for this. Very brief and simple answer. A new class of zamindas who exploited the farmers was created. The farmers became the landers slowly. Land became a commodity. Many zamindas mortgage their lands to pay the land taxes. The agriculture sector became commercialized. The money lenders became strong. Illi in on the point add Madi. The Zamindari system, Raitavari and Mahalwari systems were introduced. All these systems were actually one and the same. Though they were introduced in different periods and in different places, none of them were beneficial to our farmers. Instead, they exploited them. Yaude on the Yojana in the Andre Kandaya Padatinda Namaraitriga Sahaya Agila. Or very short and again exploit more exploit other another very big write the impact of British education on India introduced by the British. This is again three as well as four mark question. So let us prepare them for four mark. Indians could develop modernity, secularism, democratic attitudes. This is one point. Indians also could develop rationality along with nationalistic ideals. Local literature and languages grew. Periodicals started emerging. So I continue the answer. New social and religious reformation movements emerged. J.S. Mill, Rousseau and Montesquieu's writings brought fresh thinking in the minds of educated youth. The freedom struggles of the globe influenced Indians. Indians could understand and appreciate the rich tradition. So, Krishna Raja Vadayar fourth is a maker of modern Mysore state. How? Mate idana two marks, three marks, mate four marks. All the details you'll have to have. Abolished fees in all primary schools. He helped the girls' education. Started University of Mysore, Mysore Bank, scholarship to the students who study in foreign country, Indian Institute of Science. A barrage was constructed across Kaveri near Belagola. Iron and steel factory, cement factory, paper mills at Badravati, sugar factory at Mandya, sandal oil factory at Mysore. So factory in Bengaluru all were started during the period of Krishna Raja Vadayar IV. Therefore, Gandhi gave him title called Raja Shri. Another four mark important questions in political science are corruption, causes and effects of corruption, the status of women, the measures taken to improve the status of women, Illiteracy, measures taken to eradicate illiteracy or measures taken to spread education. Likewise, smuggling, poverty, communalism are also most likely questions you must learn. Out of this, out of these six questions, 
I answer two important one corruption to fight out corruption ethical values strong leadership committed political party proper awareness among the people plus you also alert citizens responsible citizens lokayukta and the lokapal institutions educational institutions can weed out corruption likewise increasing the number of judges and courts harsh punishment to the corrupt officials proper awareness among the people are very much important to fight out corruption the next question measures taken to improve the status of women women commission is established women and children welfare department is created compulsory education of girls 33% of reservation in education employment and election stri shakti yuvati mandala mahila mandala women self help groups are all created in addition to that abolition of child marriage dowry and all domestic violence against women so these are the steps taken to improve the status of women in india next political and economic military causes for the 1857th revolt idanna gamana kottu kaliri ee points thumba important idu let us discuss political and economic now so in this slide i am giving you political in the left and economic in the right side the doctrine of lapse and uh, cancellation of uh, royal titles of the nawabs and uh, rulers of tanjore and karnatak and the mogal sultans nawab of oud and other places were stripped of their kingly status and the soldiers became unemployed all these points you should write under political point economic industrial revolution economic causes you need to write how industrial revolution made indians to suffer the indian craftsmen became unemployed cottage industries too suffered a death blow the british imposed heavy tax on the sale of indian goods in england likewise the zamindari system exploited the farmers and the inam commission took back the inam lands which made many landless laborers so economic and political causes you need to learn very important one reasons for the failure of 1857 most common question reasons for the failure of 1857 revolt most likely questions and uh, repeated question it is the movement did not spread to the whole country it was not an organized struggle lack of struggle lack of suitable leadership lack of unity among the indian soldiers no proper direction or proper leadership there was lack of strategy lack of expertise and discipline and many political king many provincial king supported british the effects of 1857 revolt also to be read alert kelu sathi idannu saha kelidare miss maadbedi kalthu kodi effects of revolt of 1857 revolt the freedom struggle put an end to the from administration of the east india company administrative responsibility was handed over to the secretary of indian affairs in the british parliament in 1858 the queen of england made a declaration the agreements made by the east india company with the kings were accepted ambitious expansion plans had to be given up a stable government had to be provided to indians there would be equality before the law so ee ella points galanna chennagi gamana kottu kaliri another important area important section moderates methods of fightings of moderates <coughs> extremists and revolutionaries likewise non cooperation movement so idralli moderates onnanna kodo prayatna madidene moderates had faith in the rule of british and judiciary wc banerji mg ranade surendranath banerji 
Dadabai Navroji and G.K. Gokhale were the major moderate leaders. They used to table their demands with the framework of the constitution through prayers and requests. They tried to bring in political awareness among the people. They organized public meetings, discussed various burning issues and submitted memorandums to the government. They submitted memorandums demanding cutting down of military expenditure, development of Indian industries, providing good education and programs for poverty alleviation. By increasing the import and redu reducing export, the British facilitated the draining out of precious Indian resources into India. Likewise, farmers, workers, protest, Subhas Chandra Bose, B. R. Ambedkar's contribution and Jawaharlal Nehru's achievements. Most expected four mark questions, dear students. You must learn all these questions in your favor. Objectives of UNO, organs of UNO and the achievements of UNO. Usually these are all three mark questions but let us not take a chance. Let us be prepared for this also. If four marks are not asked in the first lesson, political science, there is a chance of asking in the four marks. Uh, sorry, there is a chance of asking the fourth lesson in political science. That is UNO. Right? So, their achievements of UNO. So, political achievements are peacekeeping achievements, economic achievements, and social achievements need to be studied. Likewise, types of agriculture practiced in India, types of land use we see and the factors which influence land use. Likewise, in geography, geographical requirements to cultivate paddy, wheat, cotton, tea and sugar cane must be learnt either for two marks or even for four marks can be asked. So, Yadar Yerud crop na share si portare, Nimi and Kulagli in Teli, Nano Itra Kotta is in a nodi Paddy wheat, right side Nelly Paddy again, rainfall, temperature, soil, and season are given. Must learn and left side wheat, rainfall, temperature, and soil. Paddy is a corif crop, wheat is a robby crop. Paddy requires 100 to 150 centimeters rainfall. Uh, wheat requires 50 to 70 centimeter. Temperature 25 degree for paddy. Wheat in an average 10 to 15 degrees Celsius. Likewise, you must learn tobacco and tea. This is uh, tobacco is a tropical crop. Tea is a perennial crop. To cultivate tobacco, 21 degrees Celsius to 27 degrees Celsius temperature is required. And for tea, 100 to 200 centimeters. To cultivate tobacco, we require 50 centimeters of rainfall and to grow tea, we require 100 to 200 centimeters of rainfall annually. Likewise, sugar cane, 100 to 200 centimeters of rainfall. For cotton, it is 150, 75 to 150 centimeters of rainfall. For sugar cane, temperature is 21 to 26 degrees Celsius. For cotton, it is 20 to 25 degrees Celsius. Black soil and loamy soil are suitable for cotton cultivation. Likewise, dear students, you must learn causes and precautionary measures for cyclones, earthquake, coastal erosion, and flood. The effects of natural calamities common. effects Effects the not poly, Jotege causes and precautionary measures to face these natural calamities. So, here I am giving you the causes for a flood in the left side and precautionary measures for a flood. Heavy rainfall, melting of snow, tropical cyclones, cloud burst, silting of rivers, river beds are the reasons for flood. But what are the precaution measures? 
to prevent flood or to prevent the yeah, adverse effect of flood afforestation construction of dams across the rivers construction of burns beside the river flood forecasting and early warnings ban of sand mining in the river bed likewise cyclones cause effects of cyclone is given the left side large scale of death loss of property uh, standing crops are washed away precautionary measures right side nalli kottidini chennagi adanna nodkodi earthquake in the right side earthquake causes are given left side precautionary measures for earthquake is given precautionary measures nodadaga avoid high rise buildings use lightweight materials railway rerouting unscientific mining should be stopped likewise coastal erosion the reasons for coastal erosion is monsoon winds tropical cyclones and tsunamis precautionary measures prohibiting sand mining in coastal areas constructing retention walls along the length of coast wherever waves are high and strong stocking of large rocky boulders along the coast to reduce the impact growing mangrove forests along the coast likewise formation of general assembly and security council na odkolbekagutte idunu saha four marks ge kelabodu general assembly the formation in the left side security council formation and the features in the right side ishtellavanna nu nodkondiri kandita 16 out of 16 nu nimage barutte right almost 10 to 12 points underline the keywords definitely you will get 16 out of 16 i hope you will have 16 marks within these all the best i wish you all the best dear students keep watching spsos online learning in the next episode i am presenting three mark important questions with answers all the best